Hello, it's Sally once again, and I'm going to show you how to fix or, or remedy the situation when you have created your braid and you're almost done, but you've run out of cord. And you, you, you know, you just, you, you need to finish up and all, you, you just don't have enough room to be able to add your last few beads plus do the, um, you know, the, the tail without the beads. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need either one of these small little uh, discs that you can buy um, where you can see that um, it's quite a bit smaller than the original disc. This particular one has a really tiny hole. Um, which is fine for just a regular braid, but if you do have a large focal, you can't use it because you just can't transfer it onto the disc with that small of a hole. Um, so what I do is with an old disc that's too loose to do anything else with, is I make a small one. Um, and basically, you can see here, I just have made slits in the disc. Um, and you can use an X-Acto knife or if you have a really sharp kitchen knife, just be very, very careful. Or if you have a pair of um, scissors um, that are nice and sharp. So what you'll do is you'll take your disc that's too loose and you'll just take your knife and just kind of um, go through each slot and, and go down towards the center. And then when you're all done doing that, then you'll take your pair of scissors and cut the excess, um, you know, because you don't want these big long fingers. Those are a little too, too big to work, too long to work with. Um, and then the other thing you'll need is another empty disc. Because what you're going to do is you want to be able to transfer from this disc onto the small one. But you don't, because we're, we don't have much room here, um, it, it's kind of hard to do the transfer. So the easiest thing to do is to, to place an, an, another disc on top of the one that you're using. Flip it over so that you can see the edge. And then take your cord and move it from one disc down onto the other. See how I did that? And then you'll keep doing that. You'll move it from one disc to the other for all eight of your cords. And this also remember, helps, re, you know, it remember what slot you're in. Okay, and then once you have it transferred onto that disc, you'll pull your braid out and then you'll take your small braid and and thread it through and then lining it up you'll take your cord once again and transfer it from the big disc now onto the small disc just by again um, lining them up oh wouldn't you know it the phone is ringing right in the middle of um, <laughs> this demo so Ignore it, that's what I'm gonna do. And it will hopefully stop. And so once you have it transferred, now you have longer pieces to be able to finish up and not, you know, not have to worry about having such a small little piece to work with. Um, you know, the, the disc itself is a little sloppy because, you know, you've cut it or, um, but it still works, you know, it doesn't have to be super neat. Um, and you're only going to be using this little temporary small disc just until you can finish, um, you know, doing your braid. Um, and hopefully this will save you from having to either make your, um, necklace or bracelet smaller than you would have liked um, and especially with with this particular design you know I have something that is in the middle so you know if I finished one side of it you certainly want to have the other side the same length 
Um, so this just kind of saves you the the bother of either having you know having to make that decision to make it, make it smaller or undo the whole thing and start over again and who the heck wants to do that I know I don't um, so anyway um, as you can see I still have enough room here to be able to finish this this uh, necklace off and and be done and um, that's how you do it so <laughs> Um, thanks for listening, and hopefully this will save you um, in the future. Thank you very much. Bye.